Hi, I'm uh, Ewan Harrison and uh, I'm a Deputy Director of COG UK before the pandemic well, and now I'm an academic uh, microbiologist particularly interested in, in bacterial uh, genomics. The challenges of data sharing across within, within uh, inside countries and across international uh, boundaries is obviously uh, an important one. For example, within the UK, there are four nations that make up the, the UK, England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. And particularly Scotland and Northern Ireland have slightly different uh, legal systems and laws that mean that we, we had to take that into consideration when we were setting up the, 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 the UK-wide um, consortium. So that meant that we, we had to consult widely with um, public health uh, agencies so that we could generate a consensus that everybody was happy for that would, would fit with their legal systems. Likewise, with international data sharing, there are different laws between uh, different countries. There are different populations, some of which may be um, more sensitive to, to data sharing or there's greater risk of deductive disclosure. So more remote communities, a piece, one piece of information about a sample in a remote community could basically identify somebody. So it, it depends on whereabouts you're, you're taking samples from, the populations and, and the population density. And I know that globally, uh, many countries have faced different issues um, around these, these individual factors. What we've always decided to do in terms of our data release from COG UK was to keep it very simple. So to release, to minimize that risk of adoptive disclosure, we only released the date of the sample and the, the country that it came from. So thus reducing any risk of remote or rural communities, a sample being identified as an individual. Data sharing uh, as part of a um, of genomic surveillance is, is one of the foundational principles. And I think as, as, as the, you know, the pandemic has demonstrated the importance of this. We can see, for example, with the emergence of, uh, for example, in the UK, potentially of the detection of the alpha variant, very rapidly that data was shared. That allowed scientists around the world to kind of crowdsource and analyze that data. Then when it showed up in other countries, those genome sequences could be compared. Likewise with the Delta variant and now with the Omicron variant, international data sharing is, is, is a critical component of that. Also, because there, you know, scientists around the world are interested to work on that data. And you know, having more minds looking at a piece of data is, can only really be a good thing.